Hello Cancerians, welcome back. Let's do your energy reading. See what is coming towards you this coming week and the following weekend. This is our weekly reading. So many people are asking for the weekly readings, not just the monthly. So let's do this. What's coming towards you? How to best deal with it? Any challenges um, that show up for you? We're going to discuss. Also, we want to know how your soulmate is doing. Uh, whoever it is that you're thinking of while watching this video that holds a special spot in your heart. Uh, how are they doing? What's going on with them? And how are they relating towards you? Universe, please step in show very important messages for the sign of cancer. For cancer's um, highest good, please. What is cancer going to be facing, dealing with this upcoming weekend weekend, especially in relation to their love life? So Cancer, you decided to walk away from somebody. Uh, a toxic situation, disappointing, very disappointed emotionally. But you decided it's best to release the person, to walk away. That's what Eight of Cups represents. You realize that you love is yourself enough to say no to toxic relationship, toxic situation, toxic person yeah you're deciding to move on with your life this is good that means you love yourself enough to say no to any toxicity yeah and you are very curious what's awaiting you out there very curious what's awaiting you um in this particular deck in the three of wands you are showing up here as holding a sword uh I call that a sort of truth. So you have a lot of inner wisdom. You have a lot of experience, life experience that's very valuable. Three of Cups. So you're definitely not just sitting home uh, and feeling sorry for yourself. You are keeping yourself busy with work, keeping in touch with friends, attending social events as you should be. So you are definitely wise. Scorpio, you have a lot of inner wisdom, very strong psychic abilities, strong intuition. You read energies, people, and situations very well. So never doubt your intuition. You have great intuition. Let's see clarification for Cancerians, please. What is the sign of Cancer dealing with? What's going on in Cancer's life? Let's see. Six of Cups. So, yeah, you did walk away from some challenging uh, situation. Uh, person that you were with, you love. It looks like you still love this person. But you recognize that uh, the way it happened and how toxic it was it was best for you to just release it let it go look at this this is beautiful high priestess showing up twice in the same spread with on top of three of wands so like i said you're holding the sword of truth you have a great deal of inner wisdom you have great psychic abilities, very well developed spiritually. Use that wisely, okay? Let it guide you. Let your wisdom guide you. This is beautiful. I'm loving this combination. So you're going to be meeting people. You are meeting people, uh, interesting people. Um, these are social uh, gatherings. Uh some of them could be business for business, but social gatherings uh, with people, like-minded people who share the same ideas. Uh, this also shows me a lot of uh, laughter, sense of humor. Uh, meeting some great people, definitely keep doing that. Uh, yeah, I'm loving this. You're not just sitting home feeling sorry for yourself. You're living your life. Beautiful. That's how it should be. Live your life. Don't put your life on hold for anybody. 
Beautiful. So you are very connected with the divine, with the spirit world. This is beautiful. Continue listening to your intuition. Follow your instincts about people, situations. Let's see more, more. I'm loving this. I love the energies that I show for you. Universe show more energies for Cancerians. Huh. So it looks like the person from your past that you released is keeping tabs on you, checking up on you. They they interested in how you're doing, what you're doing. This also means that they keep thinking about the good times the two of you had. And they feel they feel you release them, that you really emotionally, energetically, spiritually are uh, making peace with the situation and uh, letting them go. So, wow. So for those of you who obviously are psychic, have very uh, deep connection with the divine, uh, you have some very strong spirit guides on the other side that work with you. And also you have several uh, people that you knew in this lifetime that passed away. Some of them could be your relatives, some of them friends that are uh, your guides are helping you. So in your prayer, during your prayers or meditation, uh, let them know and thank them for their help and assistance. This is absolutely beautiful energy and connection that you have with the divine and the spirit world. Yeah. So a lot of you will continue having these great connections through work. So you're going to be meeting people through different business deals that you're going to be making. Uh, this is good energy. Continue doing that social outings because uh, of work connections this is very good continue doing that this also shows that you are concentrating on your finances your financial future your job your business connections this is very good so you have some uh offers some maybe new job offers or business ideas that will be very fruitful and profitable financially. Yeah, look at this. I'm not shocked to see this. Look at this. High Priestess with the Hierophant and Nine of Cups. So, Cancerians, a lot of you have done some uh, important psychic work in past lives where you helped masses of people. Uh, could have been through speeches, could have been some kind of spiritual classes, spiritual gatherings of masses where you helped guide people. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm loving this energy. Beautiful energy. Now, what we're going to do is, Since you release this person, since a lot of you Cancerians release this individual, uh, I don't want to bring their energy in. But what I'm going to do, because I don't want to control the reading, I'm not in control of any readings. Um, they only use me as a voice. Okay. Um, so whatever the universe shows you that you're supposed to know, whether it's about your past person that you released or person that you may be interested in now or whoever's coming into your energetic field currently or about to uh, announce themselves in your life in the near future. That's what we're going to talk about. So let's see what the universe decides to show you for your highest good. Universe, please step in. Show very important messages for the sign of cancer. For cancer's highest good, please. About... Uh, the other party or the other parties. What's coming towards Cancerian when it comes to romance, love, 
Six of Pentacles. Beautiful. Wow. Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Six of Wands. So you're going to be meeting some new people. Queen of Pentacles describes someone who is very grounded, uh, wise, independent, good with business, good with finances, uh, caregiver, somebody who is caring for other people, especially since the Six of Pentacles showed up in front of it. Um, let me see. Could be either gender, man or woman. It usually represents a female energy. Uh, if it's a man, it's somebody who is... Um, uh, very caring for other people, uh, humanitarian, especially since the Six of Pentacles showed up in front of it. Let me see clarification. I'm curious about the Nine of Swords. What's going on with this individual? Very independent person financially. Nine of Pentacles could be an earth sign. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This is very earthy over here. Grounded energy. Somebody most likely who has their own business. Yeah, look at this. Queen of Pentacles clarified by Queen of Pentacles from another deck. So it's somebody who is uh, very independent financially, emotionally, uh, secure financially, uh, Good with business, most likely has her or his own business with the Nine of Pentacles. Doing very well. Very grounded energy. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. So, um, Cancerians, you're going to meet or you already met this person because of your business dealings. Um, your business opportunities. This is good. Business and social events. Wow. So new love coming into your life if you allow it. Remember, you have a free will just like everybody else. Okay. Uh, to do whatever you want with any of your relationships, whether it's friendship, family, business relationship. But you're going to have an opportunity at new romance, which shows up here as six of wands as successful. So... If you choose to allow this person into your life, this is somebody who's very responsible, grounded, reliable. The moon card represents Pisces and Cancerian energy. Yeah. So somebody who is a marriage material, who is grounded, stable, reliable, won't run around with different people, no third party involvements. This is the type of person you want in your life. Yeah, stable. Uh, I want to see what's up with this tower with nine of swords, however. Yeah. So, Cancerians, a lot of you are still uh, healing from your emotional disappointment from your past relationship. Be gentle with yourself. Uh, of course, you're going to heal from it. Five of Cups is only temporary, okay? New love opportunity, if you allow it, is coming at you. Something very stable, reliable, grounded. I am very curious what's up with this uh, Tower and Nine of Swords. Universe, please clarify these energies. What's going on with these two cards? The Tower and Nine of Swords. Okay, beautiful. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. So, some of you still sometimes think of, uh, you question yourself if you did the right thing by letting this person go. Uh, with this kind of energy showing up here, Nine of Swords, the Tower, Eight of Cups. So the universe is showing you clearly that the 
uh, relationship had something extremely toxic and it was dismantled for your highest good and you did the right thing by walking away from toxic relationship, toxic person, toxic situation. You did the right thing, definitely. You love yourself enough to say no to anything that's toxic and you have to love yourself first and foremost. Yeah. You, some of you are still in a healing mode from your past relationship. Take your time. Take your time. Healing takes time and it can't be rushed. But the good thing that's showing up here is while you're taking your time in healing, you are not putting your life on hold. You are enjoying your life. You're concentrating on things that you need to concentrate on, like your survival uh, finances, social events. Very important not to stay home and be depressed. Beautiful. So we're going to go into the extended read. We're going to ask how the person that showed up here as the new person with love offer uh, is towards you. Uh, it looks like you met them or are about to meet them uh, through some kind of work relationship meaning uh, maybe some kind of business offer, business decision, not necessarily working with them. Uh, some of you may be working with them, okay? Uh, how they will be towards you, their true intentions and feelings towards you. Then anything uh, that they may be hiding or don't feel like it's important for you to know. Oh, I just saw this again. On the bottom of the deck, five of cups. So a lot of you are still sad about your recent breakup. Uh, take your time to heal. Remember, five of cups is temporary energy. You're not going to be in the dull drums forever. Okay? Uh, so then we're going to ask anything they may be uh, hiding or they don't feel it's important to you that the universe you knows and feels you should be aware of at this time for your highest good and of course then advice for you from the universe regarding the new person and whatever else they feel you need to know so click on the extended read uh link below this video in the description box below i'll see you there thank you cancerians big hugs